Michael Sussman joining you from South Hills for tonight's now baseball season Patriots. opener between the home team, the George Washington Leading Patriots, off. and the visitors of the Capitol baseman, Cougars. The Patriots Betting being announced right time. now as they jog out there. Tonight, we'll let the PA Smith. man take it over. Batting four, catching Corbin Dixon. Even in center field, batting fifth, Eli Dawson. Third baseman, Alex Wilson. Batting seventh, right fielder, Abe Fenwick. At second base and batting eighth, Sam Nelson. And a ninth batter in left field, Hunter Giacomo. And the rest of the Patriots and the coaching staff. If everyone would please stand and rise as we honor America, the national anthem. Washington High School, Michael Sussman, your play-by-play -play in as I'll bring in C.J. Krasik. Uh, C.J., it's cold today, but still springtime. We're ready to roll. Yeah, we are. It's definitely opening day. Uh, first day of spring, probably not the weather they had hoped for today, but you know what? Baseball is here. Let's go. Got Eli Smith going on the mound for George Washington as he'll get loose. The Patriots 15-9 a season ago uh, fell to St. Albans in the sectionals. Uh, C.J. is a former baseball player early on in the year. As you take your at bats, as you get into a rhythm, what do you want to what do you want to do? What do you want the coaches? To do? I, I think the important thing is just to kind of get your rhythm at the plate. Don't don't get out of mechanics, right? Stay within yourself. Um, when it's a little chillier, it's cold. You know, grip the bat. You know, you don't want it vibrating in your hands as much. Um, but it's just be patient. Stay within your mechanics. Trust yourself. Uh, don't get into bad habits early and chase pitches. Well, go back through the starters, the visitors, uh, capital. Will lead off Ty Haley. Uh, Grant Barkley will bat second. He's the shortstop. Haley's left. Uh, the catcher, Evan Wilson, will bat third. Tristan Campanella is the center fielder batting cleanup. Jace Bryan will start at second base. He'll flash fifth. Uh, Ethan Bailey at first batting sixth. Logan Chapman is in third. He'll hit seventh. Elijah Crowley in the eight hole on the bump tonight. And Caden Flower is in the nine hole and will start with right field. Capital in bounce back mode this year after a three and 19 campaign. They just start out beating Princeton eight to six. And when you're starting to flip a culture, you just got to string them together one at a time. Yeah, you just got to get wins, right? And that that's the important thing is to build some confidence early, um, especially coming off a tough year last year. Uh, so yeah, if you're Capital, just get out, get results. I think importantly is is win innings. You know, get some hits, do some right things, and just let it start to slowly build itself and see where you are at the end of the year. Inner Charleston rivalry tonight, Capital. This is the away team, Kai Haley, stepping up to the batter's box. Uh, Smith is on the bump here, ready to deliver to Corbin Dixon. And the season underway. First pitch, throws the inside corner. Smith working quickly, right back into the motion. And it's past the fastball, fastball there to start. Yeah, definitely wants to work quick. Nobody on, nobody out. No balls, two strikes here. Smith to the plate. And he struck him out on three pitches backwards, K. As Haley's down. 
if your GW is exactly how you want it to start, three pitches, get an out, and, and start feeling really good, and see if maybe you can put some doubt in Capitals' mind early. Grant Barkley up to bat, stepping to the left side here. First pitch off, cross at the knees. Smith looks dialed in. Back into the motion, 0-1. It is away. Pitching coach Mike Armstrong going right after it. Five straight fastballs to start. And the one and one. He's down and away off speed that time. Try to see if he can get him to chase good layoff. Two balls, one strike here. Smith wheeling and dealing. And strike two, Barkley behind the fastball there. Grant Barkley, a player on the Capital basketball team had him on the call during the Parmar this season. Deuces to the plate. It's down in the turf. Used to be down in the dirt. It's the turf now. Full count delivered. Smith. And this away. And Capital with a duck on the pond. Barkley walking to first. Very good at bat right there. Patient. Work the walk. Get the next guy up, see if you can string together either a hit here or another walk, extend this inning a little bit, put some pressure on, on GW and the pitching staff. As Barkley will take his lead here up now, number four, Evan Wilson, the catcher. As Smith to the belt. We'll let it fly, first pitch high and tight. Came out, fired up now, just having a little trouble finding it. As Wilson bats with Campanella in the on-deck circle. One down, one man up. And a throw over. Last year, GW got the better of capital, 14-0. As the Cougar bench gets into it a little bit. And here's the one and up. Oh. Sit right in front of us, high ricochet. Foul ball, 1-1. One, one. Definitely seen a change in the rhythm here. Not not working quite as quick with a guy on base. G Dub with the potential to have a loaded team this year. You got Bryson Hoff, a WVU commit. That's a big time power five program now. It's on an upswing. That's the one and one. And he's past the catcher with the fastball. Barkley scooting to second. And he's in there with no throw. Yeah, Capital really was an opportunity here to, to get something positive on the board early. Yeah, base hit probably scores him. As Wilson up at the count, 2-1. We'll dig in here. The last one right on the line, a wild pitch. Or pass ball, I wasn't sure. As the 2-1 is slashed out of play. What would you have on that one? Uh, you got to go pass ball there. I hate to be hard on a catcher, but you you, you got to stop that one. Fair enough. I think I'll agree with you. And Barkley extends his lead off second. As Smith going to throw over there. Hoff doing well just to block it. Kind of avoided the disaster there. That, that probably would have been 90 feet. Oh, yeah, that definitely would have been, been 90 feet. Good throw there. You might have actually got him. Those are the things that are tough to work early in the season. The, the daylight plays, the timing. A little colder, tougher to grip that baseball. That'll be a factor. It'll just get colder and colder. Wilson here, 2-2, runner on second. Wade Smith and goes back through the sequence. Looking for a second punch out. And it's a dribbler to Chuck Kelly at first. He'll take the bag himself as the runner Barkley advances. Two down. Kind of jammed him on the inside. All he could really do was beat it into the ground. Uh, really, really good pitch right there. Good, good job to, to answer right there. Now you got to get the other out, strand the runner here, and get back to the duck. I think you feel pretty good about how this went. Speaking of the cold, those jams are not fun in these conditions. No, not at all. Got number five, Tristan Campanella up. First pitch high. Good baseball name, Campanella. As G 
GW hopes to get to the bat rack to see Bryson Hoff, Abe Fenwick as well. 1-0, check swing, foul ball backward. I think he was a little fooled there. I think maybe, maybe caught guessing what it was going to be. Do you drop something away then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Couple shake-offs, Smith checks the runner. There's the 1-1. One -one. Went right back to the fastball behind it, 1-2. Definitely sitting off speed, you could kill by the way he got started. Runner on third, two wet. And Smith lets it fly, it's past it again. Second K of the inning, and the sides retire. No score will go to the bottom of the first. As we stay at the ballpark, CJ and Michael will be back with you momentarily. Back at the hill, the George Washington Patriots up to bat for the first time this season as we stand at 0-0. 1-2-3 in the order here, Chuck Kelly, Bryson Hoff, and Eli Smith. As Kelly going to dig in, Chuck Kelly, multi-sport guy, athletic player, good contact hitter. That's why he moved up into the leadoff spot this year after that six last season. And he'll face the southpaw, Elijah Crowley. First up. Just off the outside corner. Kind of strategic. You put Hoff in the two hole and try to get some instant offense going with the speedy Kelly up one nothing. Shop ground ball to third. Fielded and the throw across the diamond. Not in time as Chapman hopped it in there. Kelly aboard. Yeah, and right there you see exactly why you put Kelly at the top of the leaderboard or at the top of the lineup there. Little dribbler and absolutely just flies down the line to beat it out. And already gave him credit for the hit there. That would have been a tight play. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the right call. I don't think that's a home cook call. I think I'd have, I'd have scored it that way. That would never happen here. 
At shortstop here, Bryson Hoff batting second. He's coming off of a 379 season last year. First pitch will show bunt. Pulls and takes the ball. Hoff with 33 hits a season ago, scored 31 times. His coach Mike Davis, former Bridgeport player and West Virginia State Yellow Jacket. Call out the sequence here. You got wristbands in baseball these days. Is Kelly going to take off? Hoff lays it down. Beautiful push, bunt, nobody home. Here's Kelly to third. Man, he's safe. That, oh. is, that is perfectly executed. Absolutely well done. And then heads up by Kelly to realize nobody's still there. Take the chance. But that's one you got to be sure of. Because you don't want to be the first or last out at third, right? That cardinal rule. But when you got when you got wheels like he does, I don't think it matters. Yeah, he can fly. He was uh, it's a big defensive asset for G Dub in basketball this year, just because he can move like that. Here's Eli Smith showing the bunt this time. Hoff goes to second. That sets the tone too. That gets your team going to play aggressively right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. The Patriots not waiting around, getting guys on, moving guys station to station. Second and third, nobody way. Here's. The one nothing of Smith, he'll take a hack and spy him. He's trying to put that one over the fence. Healthy swing there. Yeah, it was definitely a grip and rip right there. Here's the one one. It's at the letters there called strike two. There's Elijah Crowley in front of the count. Just got to put it in play. Field playing even depth as that pitch is high. Got the first baseman Bailey on the edge of the cut there. Yeah, definitely playing corners in to cut down the run on a dribbler down the line. Here's the 2 2. Lunged at, but he didn't go. And we got a full count. 3 2 count. Corbin Dixon on deck. And here's Crowley. Southpaw lets it go. Sharp ground ball through the left side of the infield. That'll score at least one. Kelly in. Here comes Hoff. Standing up, the Patriots go ahead two to nothing on the RBI single from Eli Smith. Very nice at bat right there. Stayed right within himself. Drove it right between second and third. Scores two. And for Eli Crawley, this is this is starting out not a not a very good start to the first inning. Against the best G Dub has, yeah, it's tough if you get on the ropes. Here's the catcher, Corbin Dixon, number 24. What do you think of the all maroon pins? I'm actually kind of a fan of them. I really do like them. I wasn't sure at first if I would, but <laughs> I asked Coach earlier. He said they got them last year. We used to have all white pins, but they were so big they kind of fit like jumpsuits. As the First pitch is dribbled foul. Kind of can't copy in the, the Vanderbilt look, I guess. Hey, if you're going to model after a baseball program, at least go after a good one. That's a good point. CJ's always a fan of the pinstripes. We all know that. <laughs> is Corbin going to step out of the box here? Oh, but yeah, one mana. GW with three hits to start the ball game. And the pitch is lifted high in the air towards right field, towards Flower. Center fielder can't get there. It's down, extra bases. Davis going to send the base runner. And he's in as well. As number seven, John Fallow, the pinch runner, is going to score. And credit the double to Dixon Corbin. Call that the honey hole here. A lot of distance to cover right down that right center field territory. Yeah, a lot of distance over there to cover. You know, it looked like the uh, right fielder might have gotten a little bit of a misread coming in and then having to go back. Um, those are just mistakes, I think, last year that played capital, and you were kind of hoping maybe wouldn't have those again, and unfortunately they showed themselves right there. That's one you got to have. First pitch here. Swung on and missed by Eli Dawson. Eli Dawson back starting center field this season. It's an experienced group for GW. I think they 
Only lost maybe one of just about every starter back. As Dawson will lose that bunt foul. GW State Tournament team, the runner-up as recently as 2022. Yeah, and you got to feel like last year uh, losing in the sectional to, to St. Albans, uh, something that they really probably talked about all offseason to get back to that opportunity to, to go play in Charleston for another state title. Uh, definitely a team that's got the look that could be there. It's a rough road in baseball. So. O2 pitches. Hit the third by Dawson. Quick bobble by Chapman. High throw into the fence. As runners will stay put into third base there. Number 17, Dante Corbin Ward. Capital just not helping themselves. No, no, and, it, and if, you know, the defense behind Crawley, you gotta do something to help pick up your pitcher who struggled. Those are the kind of things I think mentally can, can really damage a team if you're not careful. Up now, Alex Wilson, number three. And looks like we got a run down here. Probably an on-purpose one, Dawson. Trying to bait the Cougars. And Ward waiting as they'll go to the plate now. And great job there by Capital. As the catcher there, Wilson going to tag him out. And really well done there by Jace Bryan. That's what you got to do. You got to keep your head up and then just run straight at him. Yeah, very well done right there. Um, like you said, I think on purpose there, but uh, third base, you get a little too far down the line trying to bait that. And As Wilson's through that one. That'll be a coaching point for Mike Davis. Yeah, it hurts, but at least you know you're able to replace it second, so you still got a guy in scoring position here if you get a base hit. No balls, one strike. And it's down and outside to Wilson. Here on the HD Media Game Day app, a reminder to check out Full Court Press featuring Bob Huggins at PressVirginia.com. It's the season finale. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And Wilson swung and missed there. He hit the catcher's mitt on the backswing. He's got it on the wraparound. That stings on a nice warm sunny day. A day like today, that really hurts. Oh, my goodness. Wilson taking it like a champ. Then to, he got it right on the wrist, too. I don't think that got much leather. A ball and two strikes. There's Elijah Crowley. Stride and fire. Strike three. As Crowley will get his first K of the ball game. That's a big one right there. You get the out on the rundown, then come back, get the strike out. Now you're at two outs with an opportunity to get out of here with only three runs given up. That's a big time strikeout right there just for the mental portion of it. Here's Abe Fenwick, the right fielder. First pitch down on the turf. Fenwick, a lot of pop in the bat. The former star quarterback here, all stater. So I'm going to be heading to WVU to join that quarterback room. Here's the one up. He's past the catcher. Dawson going to stay put at second. And when you have an athlete on the baseball field, that, that just kind of gives a different dimension. No, it absolutely it does. And I think you've kind of seen that that change in, in baseball across, you know, all you know athletes playing, and it's a, it's a big deal. Here's the 2-0. Shot up the middle. And it's a single. Here comes Dawson. As... GW goes up 4 nothing. One at bat, one hit, one RBI, Abe Fenwick. Absolutely beautiful swing there by Fenwick. You almost kind of know that that pitch is coming when he buries two of them. You know he, it, it, the mindset is, is he's just going to try and get over a strike right there. Uh, just stay right with inside the baseball, drive it right back up the middle. Absolutely how you teach it. Up now, number six, Sam Nelson, second base. Nelson. Really good defensive player. Awaits the first pitch. It's down. Got Hunter Giacomo in the on-deck circle. It's Fenwick will take his lead off first. George Washington, five hits in the early going. Fenwick takes off. There's the throw down. Not in time. As Fenwick will swipe the bag. 
greatly timed jump there, and then of course, you know, Crawley not not exactly extremely quick. Uh, that helps too, but the jump definitely got him there early. It does make it tougher when you have a, a little longer delivery. Let's see if Fenwick thinks about running again as the one ones up. And those are the things that the, the experienced players start to pick up on the longer you play varsity ball. You, you just learn those tendencies, learn when to take your jump, when to go. Yeah, that's that's being locked in in the dugout and paying attention the entire way through. Fenwick going to take off 2-1. And he's up there standing just as we mentioned it. Great anticipation. Yeah, and, and the bats here by George Washington, extremely patient. You know, even when you have a pitcher on the ropes, not going up there and trying to get out of yourself, looking for your pitch and then hammering it when you see it. There's the 3-1 check swing dribbler. Nelson chugging towards first. Here's the flip. It gets him in time as Jace Bryan makes the play and the side is retired. All G-Dub early at the hill, 4-0 Patriots. We'll be back with the second. W High School, Jace Bryan up to bat. First pitch, got him in the wrist. I think he started to go around, though. That's probably going to be a strike one. Yeah, you can see Capital trying to get out on that fastball early. I just don't know if they've quite got the, the timing on it down. I mean, they've and they've been exposed by that pitch here early. Eli Smith, good start in the first, walked one, but struck out two. Capital going to have five, six, seven in the order here. Jace Bryan, Ethan Bailey, Logan Chapman. Head coach here, Stephen Lewis, taking a look at the hand of Jace Bryan. Not to reference the cold again, but that that is just the this is the worst day to have that happen. Yeah, because it just rattles every everything up your arm, trying to grip the the bat even harder when that hand hurts is even worse. No balls, one strike here. Smith to the plate, and it's fouled back into the bushes. Got a decent turnout here for an opener. Both stands filled up behind us. No balls, two strikes. There's Smith from the windup. This one fouled off again. And those are probably the two best swings you've seen Capital have on that fastball right there. You know, got the timing of it just a little bit underneath on both of them. I think I'd almost go change up here to see if I get him out in front of it. He throws one. Oh, two. Oh, with the curveball drilled him on the backside there, free pass. I think just lost the handle a little bit. Yeah, I lose the handle there. I mean, oh, two, you're definitely not trying to, to do that and then insult to injury. Hit by pitch doesn't feel good to begin with, and then, like you said, in this weather. Yeah, talk about a hard-fought HBP there. Got hit twice. Don't know if I've ever seen that before. Up now, Ethan Bailey, the first baseman. Oh, watch a wild fastball away. 
Capital searching for the first hit of the night. And Smith set. And throws up. What a wild throw back, backing up there. Fortunately, it was Alex Wilson. Yeah, I think he lost it there in that set a little bit. Looking back into it, it's kind of in a funky position for him right now. A ball and no strikes. It's high and away. He's got to finish a little more on that fastball. Yeah, left both of those out, out and away. Also, I think it has a little bit to do when he tried to go in the left side last time and hit somebody. There's the 2 nothing delivery upstairs again. So you got the whole front step crew participating over there in the dugout. Got really nice facility here. They've done a lot with it over the years. 3-0 pitch. It's off the outside corner, ball four. Third capital walk of the game. And they got a couple ducks on the pond. Yeah, if you're capital here, this, you know, after, after last inning you give up four runs, come back and answer here and you set yourself up for a very nice opportunity. Now you just got to come through. Gonna try to slow him down here. Dixon Corbin wraps up the conversation. Up, third baseman, Logan Chapman. up now, Logan Chapman, the third baseman. Nobody out first and second. Smith checks the runner. End of the plate. You go back dialed in, pounds the zone. Yeah, important to get ahead of the hitter here, especially with two guys on, haven't gotten it out yet, want to get ahead. No balls and a strike, Smith. Fastball upstairs. Got Capital tonight, got GW Ripley tomorrow. Talked to Ripley head coach Shane Casto earlier. That's Always a strong baseball program. They're good year in, year out. And Smith ready with the one and one. We'll hit the inside corner. A ball and two strikes. Going to be a tough one in AAA this year. Got St. Albans good once again. GW looking to get in the picture. Got to play Cabell Midland as well, the reigning champion. Yeah, you're definitely going to earn earn a state title this year, especially in that class group. Uh, Cabell Midland, you know, been good. Um, you know, I think I saw Max Preps had them ranked as the uh, the best baseball program in the state. So, and the one-two got him looking. Uh, Smith, good bounce back. As he'll sit down, Logan Chapman. Now Elijah Crowley. Elijah Crowley. I think that time out there by Corbin was a good one. He just, just was rushing a little bit before. Yeah, slow him down, get him back into his mechanics, make sure he's executing, follow through on pitches. And yeah, I think it was a perfectly perfect mound visit. First and second, here's Crowley. First one, crosses at the knees, strike one. Big opportunity here for Crowley. If you get a base hit here, get a run back, be a lot for your confidence, especially on the mound next inning. Try to help yourself a little bit. As that's outside. Got an opening day coming up in the show too. Next Thursday. What uh, what do you think your Yankees are going to do this year? Did that did that Soto signing take them over the edge? Uh, had it not been for Garrett Cole getting hurt and missing the first part of the year, I'd have definitely said yes. So uh, we'll have to see. Crowley's bat behind a 1-1 there. Smith is pitch away from recording out number two. Well, you know, I'd ask you that about your Reds, but we both know. Yeah, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the pitch is off the plate. Realistically, I, I really don't know what's going to happen yet. It'll come down to pitching, health, all the normal cliche stuff, but you also just got to get hot, got to get lucky. Two balls, two strikes. Slow chopped ground ball. Out comes Corbin throw to first in time. Corbin Dixon, 
Nice play there for round number two. Good job springing out of the crouch. Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes that can be kind of a kind of a funky one coming out of the crouch. Um, definitely can tell that's something they've spent time working on. Especially when it's the pitcher and the catcher. A lot of times you, you have some of those collisions. Good, do, good job taking charge. Now Caden Flower. Two down, second and third. First pitch delivery, hard check swing. Did come around, strike one. Really tying up the right-handed pitchers, working them inside hard. Smith ready, almost with the nothing and one. Gonna shuffle back through the sequence. There's the delivery. CJ, I haven't noticed Dixon looking back to the dugout much. I think they're I think they're letting the guys call this one. Yeah, they definitely are. I think that's. You know, you get a pitcher and catcher that, you know, know each other, have worked together. That time over the helmet, two and one. Lauer trying to get a couple runs for the Cougars here. Flip it back to the top of the orders. Kai Haley's on deck. Got 9-1-2 coming up for GW. Go from the wind up here as we get the center field shot. Here's the offering. And it's right down Broadway 2-2. Two -two. That, that's the one pitch. If you can't come through here on this at bat, I think that's the one you're going to think about. It was pretty. Deuces everywhere. And here's Smith. So the plate. Able to fend that one off. Extends the A-B. Gonna be interesting for the old Red Legs this year. Hope for the Pirates too, at least according to our associate part-time HD media play-by-play -play guy, Blaine Smith. He's, he's always high on the Buckos. Some would say maybe unrealistically. Some would say. <laughs> some would say. And back to the two and two. Got him this time. Eli Smith punches out Flower and retires the side. George Washington. Up four to zip, you are watching high school baseball on the HD Media Game Day app. We are back at the season opener here at the Hill. George Washington up four to nothing. A big shout out to the GWHS boosters for making these broadcasts possible. Uh, it's pretty cool to see how long of a ways the, the high school coverage the streaming the broadcasts have gone. No, it is, and you know, for an opportunity, you know, for kids that may not play the, the two big ones, right, basketball and, and football, um, an opportunity. No, this is absolutely fantastic, and it's good for the game, and you know, good for the schools in the state as well. Is Hunter Giacomo, the nine-hole hitter, sliding in there? As first pitches past him with the off-speed, and that's how Crowley's got to work. He, he's got to keep it down. He's got to go to the junk. Yeah, definitely got to keep it down, hit your spots. Um, you saw last inning he got pitches up in the up in the zone, and GW didn't miss him. No balls, one strike to Giacomo. 
Tom passed the change. Nothing in two. Kind of got away with one right there. Got it up in the zone a little bit, but kind of got away with it. Oh, balls, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. Crowley from the windup. Over the letters this time, one and two. Giacomo up, Chuck Kelly on deck. And into the windup, here goes Crowley. Taken just low there. And it's a tight 0-2 take. Yeah, that is that that that's a tough take, but that's you know a guy who's really confident in the zone and that he saw it the whole way. Two balls, two strikes. Crowley, well outside, and the count will go full. And if you're Crowley here, first batter, first out is almost a must. Yeah, that's sort of how it got out of hand. Last inning had three straight singles, and to lose them there, ball four. Giacomo gets the free pass. That's some pretty quick wheels on first. That's a tough one to go 0-2 oh, and then and then not be able to get him. I think we'd have really liked to got that one two call as strike three, not ball two, but except for the Patriots first baseman, Chuck Kelly. Chuck Kelly is one for one with a single. More than capable bunch or two. I'm curious if we'll see you. Giacomo steal than a Kelly push bunt. As he'll try to bunt first pitch. It's past him. And throw down to first. Fortunately for Capital, hit off the shin there of Bailey. Patriots uh, have shown their willingness to bunt anywhere in the lineup in any situation so far. So you got to love the, uh, the aggressiveness, not just sitting back trying to make things happen. And when you have their speed and athleticism, I think that's the perfect way to play. Here's the Owen one. They'll get him for the buck. Crowley knew he did it right away. Did not quite see the infraction there. Giacomo advances. Yeah, I don't think he came completely to a set. Mental mistakes, unfortunately, for Capital, you just can't have. And the nothing in one. It's down in the turf, 1-1. One, one. Mike Davis, so complimentary of Chuck Kelly's work ethic earlier, said he just works hard day in, day out. you got to have a couple guys like that to, to build the program. Yeah, absolutely. I'll give him strike two there, 1-2. You know, guys like that are, are, are what you build programs on. Um, you know, they see that. Other guys see that. They put in the work, too. I mean, those are the, those are the kind of guys you need in a clubhouse. Runner on second. Nobody out. That's ball two. There's Crowley will bring the count even. Got the always dangerous Hoff do up next. The 380 hitter from a year ago. It's Crowley. Check second. And the 2-2. Two -two. That was blocked. Well done by Evan Wilson. Yeah, I think the one thing, if you're your capital, really anybody that plays GW this year, is I don't think the one thing you want to do is give them extra at-bats. Uh, there's not really an easy guy in the lineup as far as the ability to pitch. They're all patient um, and, and do their jobs respectfully. 3-2 pitch. Kelly flashes it to left field. Giacomo getting waved around. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. And George Washington up 5-0. RBI single from the leadoff man, Chuck Kelly. Yeah, once again, just another another pitch up. Drive it right between second and short and drive in a run. I mean, that's exactly been the formula so far for GW Patient at bats, jumping on the pitch when it's there. The old five and a half hole. As Hoffel slide it, Kelly goes. Hit and run, perfect. Bryson Hoff, two for two, and it's misplayed in left field. Here comes Chuck Kelly, and he's up easy. Hoffel grab another 90 as well. And the Patriots pouring it on. Yeah, it seemed like it took kind of a, a funky hop out 
out there in the outfield, but that's one of those you got to be in front of, knock it down, understanding situationally that if it gets by you on something crazy like that, that it's going to be another run. I will say from experience, it's a much nicer outfield than, it's, than it used to be. The coaching staff has done a good job, but it, it used to be pinball out there. I'm still, I'm sure there's still some bare spots. As Eli Smith will watch a ball one outside. So Hoff season off to a good start off to WVU. I asked Coach Davis about that process earlier. He said that when Hoff separated himself as a power five guy is when they started to monitor spin rates and things of that nature. 1-0 there is down to Smith. The whole recruiting scouting process has got more and more involved over the years. Oh yeah, that doesn't surprise me as you as you see spin rate and all these metrics come into play. You know, the, there's there's not a whole lot of things these guys don't know about the players before they put the tape on. Came down to WVU and Marshall, both enticing programs. Marshall got that beautiful new ballpark. You made a trip down there yet? I have not, but I have seen pictures of it. I need to get down there and take a look at it. 2-1, fouled into the catcher there, Wilson. Two balls, two strikes. Smith, healthy hack, just missed it. But I do think it is good, you know, for the state that Marshall now has its own place. Um, you know, obviously, Mon Park there in Morgantown is, you know, gorgeous. Um, you know, UC has built a, built a nice... Uh, field there, state's done some upgrades on theirs. I think it's really good that, you know, the four, four baseball programs around here, you know, at the university level have have put money into those programs and are, are trying to get them, you know, up and running the right way. Yeah, and that translates on the field, too. That's, that's a major recruiting tool. It gets excitement going around the program. And an opportunity to, to keep some kids home and let them play in front of friends and family. Well, count take there. Crowley with the strikeout. Punch out Smith. Big strike out there. If nothing for more than maybe just a little bit of confidence, maybe maybe settle down a little. Um, it's kind of gotten a little erratic here again. And now you can kind of see it in the demeanor. Hopefully that gets him get it to him settled down here a little bit and he can get his team back to the dugout. Up now Corbin Dixon, the first pitch. Gonna foul it off the end of the bat. And speaking of the facility changes, this place is so much nicer than it was back in the day. They've got an indoor hitting facility over there. It used to just be a bunch of bags of turfus, and you could kind of dig a plate out of the grass if you could find it. As the 0-1 was fouled into the net, the, the cage was actually falling down for a majority of my senior year. Yeah, it is a it is a very nice facility. You can tell that they've they put in the time and the money for it, and it's and it's good to see schools around the state doing that. Catcher here, Dixon Corbin down 0-2. Crowley gonna step off and look back Hoff. Like G Dub there in the dugout, everybody up, everybody engaged. No balls, two strikes. Shot up the middle. Hoff. Come home, RBI base hit. Corbin Dixon. GW up 7-0 over the local rival Cougars. Just another beautiful swing there. Right back up the middle. Nice short compact to the ball. See, but I'm a little jealous. You got to play baseball in high school. I unfortunately did not. My alma mater at the time did not have it. Of course, they do now, so... Taze Valley Christian got to step it up. Yeah. I guess they did, I guess. No, no. Cross lanes. Cross lanes, Christian. My bad. <laughs> First pitch strike call. Uh, Eli Dawson. I was a warrior, not a crusader, or whatever they call themselves. Then. The Lions team, greater back than us, the Crusaders. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Taze Valley's the Lions. I'm going to get some of those folks mad at me. <laughs> Eli Dawson. Gonna foul that one off here. Oh, and two goes the count. Hit fest here for George Washington. Eight of them in the game. As we stand here, bottom two. Up here's Dawson. Reached earlier on the ground ball. It was an error. From the stretch. Other way, Chopper. He's bobbled at second. And the throw to first. Into the chain link. As the base runner slide into third there. That's Ward. 
Eli Doss on the board. Yeah, that had double play written all over it, bobbled it, trying to pick it up, trying to be a little too quick into the exchange. You know, and of, and of all all the contact pretty much I think for set maybe a couple from, from George Washington has been good solid contact. You haven't seen a whole lot of ones, you know, just nipped off or anything like that. They've been squaring the baseball up very nicely tonight. Hey, good job going off though there too. Just kind of throw with the hands. Alex Wilson up, runners at the corners for swing foul backward. Yeah, in a day and age where it's, you know, launch angle and pull and, and come through it, they've been very, very good, you know, just taking the baseball where it is. And uh, that comes down just to coaching. It does. It's what you do every day, the reps you take in batting practice. The L1 one is ripped off the fence. And Mike Davis is, is really coming to his own in that regard. I remember he told me early on last season, his first couple years, the staff didn't really know what they were getting themselves into. They were younger guys. And then after a couple of tough seasons, tough playoff exits, they finally got all the way to the state championship game a couple years ago. And it takes time to build a program. 0-2. Chopped ground ball left side. And in comes Wolf. W. Up eight to nothing, getting in on the fun there, Alex Wilson, at the RBI. Yeah, and it does take time, you know, to build a program. Um, as long as I usually don't want to admit that. Yeah, no, but it, it, it does, and, you know, and that's the thing is if, you know, you stay confident in, hey, what we want to do and what we want to accomplish, and you set the culture, everything else will come with it, and, and that's exactly what G-Dub has done, um, and you've seen it with some of the others. St. Albans has done that. Here's Abe Fenwick in a swing first pitch. Lifts it high in the air to left. Moving towards the wall. It's off the wall. Down Fenwick extra bags. And here comes Dawson. Now Wilson. Throw to the plate. Wilson on Wilson. And he's out. He got him. As Evan Wilson. Gonna tag him out. The run did come in. G-Dub up 9-0. As Abe Fenwick have his first double of the campaign. Beautiful relay throw there right on target for the uh, for the tag. Love the aggressiveness, though, uh, from the Patriots. Hey, you know. I've always believed in the mantra, make them make a play. Especially from the outfield. Those, those yeah. So much has to go right. A nice relay that time. Blue here going to go to the lineup card. Joel Nelson, pinch hitting. I'll hit here for Sam Nelson. 56. Speaking of good oppo drives, nice one there from Abe Fenwick. The WVU football commit. Talked to Coach about that, too. He said that he got a text right after Abe committed saying, don't worry, I'm not leaving early for spring ball, none of that stuff. I'm playing baseball. And that's great to see, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I don't begrudge a kid who decides, hey, you know what, I want to, you know, get up there early for that. Uh, but understanding that, you know, they didn't quite finish the way they wanted to last year and to come back and try that opportunity, I applaud a kid for that. And that's what he said, the, the relationships on the team were strong, and they want to finish what they started. one nothing, Fenwick sliding down the path there. It's ball two. And I, I know he's comes from a big baseball family. His dad, Dave Fenwick, and I used to actually coach a little bit of Little League together. He coached me in Little League. As Fenwick leads, 2-0. Roller past the third base. Here comes Fenwick, jogging towards the plate. This time the throw, not going to get him. As the Patriots take a double-digit lead, Joel Nelson skewed up to second base. I think they threw a third E up on the scoreboard there. Yeah, I mean, that, that ball was screamed a little bit, but I think it may have got up on the third base a little quicker than he thought it would. Um, but that that's unfortunate. I think a play right there you you got to make. Next up for GW left fielder, Hunter Giacomo. That'll bring up Hunter Giacomo, the nine-hole hitter, 0 for 0 with a walk. So what you're saying is, is you uh, recruited Fenwick to stay and play, play one more season? I'll take credit for that. <laughs> The ball is one strike. There's Crowley. Going to work to Giacomo. It's down and in. 
Capital with a four spot given up in the first, six spot in the second. Trying to get a handle on things as the Patriots go for win number one of the season. Cougars 1-0 after knocking off Princeton in the opener. 1-1 dribbled off the backstop. At baseball this week had the state basketball tournament a week ago. It did not disappoint. Had good games all the way down to the end. Yeah, it's always usually a, a very fun event. Um, you get kids that are up here. That's that's been the, the dream all season is to get to Charleston and to get an opportunity to play. You know, at the Coliseum now, the Civic Center when I was in school. Uh, it's a big deal, and I, and I think they do a very good job of doing it right and treating these kids correctly. And it's always an event that's fun to fun to attend, even if you don't have a dog in the fight. I still call it the Civic Center. That's the two and two. That's a high fly ball, shallow left field. In comes Haley. And he'll get it on the move, side retire. 10 to nothing, the Patriots put up six and move in front of Capitol. A big shout out to GW High School Boosters for making these broadcasts possible on HD Media Game Day. Uh, more baseball coming up shortly. Back on the hill, GW up 10 to nothing over the Capitol Cougars here in the season opener. And the fans have turned out for it. Got the VIP section with a row up there in center field. Left fielder up here, Kai Haley. As Eli Smith, the starter, stays in. First pitch offer is under the knee there, ball one. And Smith still yet to allow a hit, has a couple of walks and a hit by pitch in the game. Here's the one and nothing. He's off the inside corner, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, I mean, outside of the couple of walks, his command's been been very, very good, and he's... It's two O's, rocketed off the pole there. Good cut there by Haley, just a, a bit late, got the barrel to it. And Smith down 2-1. Right field, Fenwick lost and tried to barehand it. Kai Haley with the single. Really nice approach there. Kind of rake that thing the opposite way and get on base here and see if Capital this time with. You know, a guy on base can actually do something. Can get him around here and get a little bit of good energy going. First pitch ball there delivered to Grant Barkley. Got some action up in the bullpen as you saw Braden Robinson there behind Caleb Kinder, the pitching coach. Kinder, good arm for the Cougars back in the day. Good southpaw. As the 1-0 to Barkley is downstairs. We're evened up 1-1. That gets the monkey off your back, too. You don't have to see the zero hits up there. Oh yeah, you're definitely definitely seeing that, paying attention to it, and maybe get guys to calm down in the at bats. Two zero pass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Geed up softball in action this week. They're off to a good start. Four and two. It's the two one pitches. Upstairs three one it goes. 
Barkley, Wilson, and Tristan Campanella up. 2-3-4 here for the Cougars. Three balls, one strike. And it's past him, full. Eli Smith searching for strikeout number five. He's got two looking, two swinging. The Patriots out hitting capital 11 to 1. And the payoff. Skied high in the air, angling probably up towards the football seats. Short of him. I was up there. Yeah. Full count, one up. Blue puts it in play. Back. A little soft toss over there. Eli Smith will get it back from Chuck Kelly. Glad to be broadcasting here on HD Media Game Day, whether it's on the app, Facebook, We'll be with you throughout the season here. G-Dub, ball four. As Haley scoot up to second. Barkley with the free pass. As good as Smith's start has been, I'm sure Command will be in the conversation afterwards with Coach Armstrong. Yeah, I think it definitely will be. Um, you know, had a has had a very good start to this point, uh, but the command in the walks, um, definitely something you want to get under control. Um, Capitals really been a hit away from really kind of expanding this thing and making that start line not quite as quite as nice as it really does look. Evan Wilson down on the count 0-1. There have been a couple of pivotal moments in the game where you, you could have stopped the bleeding. And the 0-1's up. That's part of the learning experience. Everybody makes the playoffs. You got about 30 practices, as the coaches say, more or less. Talked to a couple coaches earlier. Give me your thoughts on this. Would it make sense if the SSAC slid the baseball season, the state tournament, back to July? As 1-1 is a line drive and a one-hop to Fenwick. Haley will stay at third base. Base not there for Alvin, Evan Wilson. You know, I think it would um, because you'd get some more practice time. Um, you've got a lot of dual athlete kids uh, in school nowadays that are, you know, um, I mean, some of them, if, you know, played basketball, they're just now getting into baseball practices. And, you know, it's a completely different use of your body. It's a completely different mechanic. Um, I think the one hesitation I think that everybody has on it is is schools graduate in May, June. Can you keep them around and interested that long? Plus, you know, some of these kids, if they play travel ball at all, you, you kind of get into that a little. But I do think there does need to be some serious conversation about it because I think it would help. As Mike Armstrong going to wrap up the conversation there. The coach I was talking about it with was Wes Swain of Ravenswood, and they're habitually in the state tournament with basketball. And he's got players started practice yesterday that have to play on Thursday. Yeah, and that, that, that's tough. I mean, you got guys that haven't seen any kind of real life pitching and got to get ready in a week. Capital with an opportunity, bases juiced. Up here, Tristan Campanella. First pitch over the heart of the plate, strike one. Nobody out too good. Chance for Smith here to see if he can get out of a jam. And conversely for Capital to get some really good things going for you. Another than one. Smith, strike two. And Smith's credit, he's going right after him. Got Campanella swinging in the first at bat. That was back in the first. No balls, two strikes. Smith, one, two, three. And has the punch out. With Mr. Smith, number five. Yeah, and Campanella just did not look comfortable in that at bat from the jump. Um, really didn't look all that comfortable in his first at bat. You could kind of see that. Um, don't think he's picking that fastball spin up quite that well because he just did not look comfortable. And Jace Bryan behind him. So swing and miss. Jace Bryan hit by a pitch in his only at bat so far. Stand here, top three, G-Dub, 10-0. 
No balls, one strike. Runners everywhere. Now it's down. Going to be interested to see when they throw Hoff this week, George Washington, whether you burn him against Ripley or save it for the weekend. Here's the one and one. It's fouled, another one over there on the football field. I say even your conversations with the coaching staff, they didn't quite seem to know when they were ready to pull the trigger on that yet. Uh, probably a day-by-day -day cases right now. One ball, two strikes. And oh, yeah. Smith hit him in the back for the second time today. Oh, yeah, this one will score a run for Capital. Jace Bryan going to need the ice bags tonight. HBP, HBP, and he got hit on the wrist on the hard check swing earlier. Yeah, definitely been a tough day at the plate. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't sting quite as bad when you know a run comes in with it, but, yeah, that definitely helps it. Um, but, yeah, he's definitely going to need a, need that uh, ice bath tonight. Did it perfectly there. You just turn the back, get it on the bigger part of your body. Ethan Bailey here, the lefty's up, base is still low. And up a one. Eli Smith. Look on here to Corbin Dixon. Glove over the head, here's the offering. That'll ricochet high one, now it spins. As Dixon will pick it back up. Dixon able to flip the mask and find it. Yeah, did a good job of locating. Obviously, pitcher helping yell where that's at. Kind of a shorter backstop, too, kind of helps, so you don't, you know, have have as much distance to carry as you do in some places. Ethan Bailey 0 for 0 with a walk. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Just over the top of the zone, 2-1. Good one. Capital. A couple of hits, both in the frame. Base is loaded, looking for another one. As that's a pass ball, takes a big kick. Here comes Barkley. And he's safe, standing up. And Barkley able to read the kick there off the wrist of the catcher, Corbin Dixon. That's a tough one right there. Ball has an absolute ton of spin on it. and Those are hard to kill sometimes. Especially when it's a fast ball. Yeah. Second and third, one away. Here's the 3 1. It's down Take down. Take your pay. So Ethan Bailey walked to first. It's Logan Chapman step in. And here comes Mike Armstrong. We'll see if he continues to let him go. They might be looking at pitch count. They're at least going to want to keep him under 75, and they will. So Eli Smith going to. Exit with a couple of runs given up. We've got him with five strikeouts. A couple of hit by pitches. Four walks. And GW going to up an arm here. And in is number one, Brandon Anderson. So first appearance for Anderson. Here in a couple of minutes as you were watching baseball on the HD Media Game Day app.
Welcome back to the Hill. George Washington taking on Capitol High. Brandon Anderson's first pitch is called strike one. There to Logan Chapman. Capitol finally getting some, some good things to happen here in this inning, getting a couple across, getting a little bit of momentum going their way. Loaded here, Brandon Anderson, pitching for George Washington. So work to Logan Chapman. All one is down, Chapman. Went down, watching against Eli Smith. Anderson going to be a big part of this pitching staff. Yeah, so look out here. And the 1-1, one -one. well got in this. Cy Anderson last year, big game against Wheeling Park, who came down. And he was a bottom of the rotation guy, four or five. And they said he might give us two or three. Ended up throwing six innings, gave up one run, and got the W. And the one two's outside. Yeah, you can tell why they really do like him. Uh, real good stuff, real good late life on that fastball. Um, if he's a guy that can get, get you stretched out a little, get you some innings and some pitches. Um, you got to really like what you've got with him. Dan Anderson got him watching. Second backwards K there for Chapman. Up now comes Elijah Crowley. That's what you need in a spot like this, too. You're leaking some oil, and it strikes. Yeah, absolutely. And that could, you know, end up being something, you know, Anderson could find his way into being, you know, a guy that can come in and, you know, cut out a rally quickly. First pitch delivery under the knee, ball one. Two up in the next for George Washington. You'll have presumably Joel Nelson and Hunter Giacomo, Chuck Kelly do up. One up. He's over the heart of the plate, strike one. Crowley a ground out in his first at bat. He'll bat with Caden Flower on deck. The wind up. Anderson couldn't quite get on top of the curve. Leaves it up for a second ball. That's a couple of different curveballs we've seen, you know, from both sides. You know, real tough to kind of get that grip and get over top of it when it's when the weather's quite this cold. Here's the two-one pitch fouled right in front of us. Thank goodness for netting. Yeah, I know. I need to go to get a haircut. That would have done it for me if we hadn't had the netting. And that monitor. Would have been done, too. That would have been a tough day for Dan and Ethan. But on the camera in the truck. Got one of the best crews in the biz. Deuces will show on the scoreboard. Anderson to the plate. It's low on the tall Elijah Crowley. As the count goes full. Good real take there. Um, you know, Capitals finally got some things going. Sometimes you kind of get out of yourself a little there. That's a good good take right there. Get you to get you to a full count. Runners moving. Full count, two down, and the pitch. Strike three. Big time delivery by Anderson as the Capitol rally is ended. Got two back, though. It's 10-2 Patriots. We're back with the bottom of the third after this on HD Media Game Day.
And we're back at George Washington High School, 10-2, the Patriots lead it as we broadcast on the HD Media Game Day app. Today's game sponsored by the GW Boosters. Sliding up to the plate, we got Chuck Kelly, the leadoff man. Chuck Kelly, two for two, couple singles, one RBI. Here's Elijah Crowley on the windup. Right over the plate, strike one. Big inning here for Capital. You finally able to push through a couple of runs last inning. Got to got to have a shutdown inning right here. Oh, one chopper towards short. Here comes Barkley. Couple shuffles, throw to first, and he's safe. Chuck Kelly infield single. And you can just see the pressure he puts on a defense with his speed. How about this stat, CJ? Every single hitter, one through four, both times up, has gotten a hit. Real good day for the top of the lineup, which is, you know, I mean, that, that's, you know, those are the table setters. Those are the guys you want to want to have on base, and they've done just that. Kelly goes, Bobble on the transfer there for Wilson. Bryson Hoff, two for two, single for open a run on a base hit last time. Started the game with that perfect push bunt. Ball and no strikes, delivery to Hoff. He'll go back to Barkley on the ground. He'll throw it sidearm, gets him by a couple of steps. As Kelly going to advance to third. Said the first baseman there, Bailey lost it on the transfer. So nothing doing there on the bobble. Shot Kelly threatening. Up now, Eli Smith has come through twice, drove in a run with a base knock his first time, then RBI singled the second. Just here, bottom three, it's Crowley. He'll step to the plate and watches it right down the middle. That's, that's a little too good to look at. That's, that's the first pitch you probably got to let it fly. Yeah, that's definitely one I think you got to be ready to jump on. Um, and in comes Kelly, tried to steal home. He's out. Recognition by Crowley. Coach Lewis loving the calm reaction there. Crowley not freaking out. Yeah, that was that was very well done. I mean, sometimes you see guys get a little too amped up, trying to get too quick, throw it away. Good job understanding he had time and make a perfect throw and get him. And the one and one. Chop foul. Wonder what the communication there was between Kelly and Mike Davis. Not sure if that was called or if it was just a read. Yeah, definitely an extremely aggressive play there. Um, it's one of those, if it works out, you steal yourself a run. If not, you almost run yourself out of the inning. And the one and two. Hit hard to third, fielded, and thrown to first. Chat and gets him in time. And the side is retired. George Washington leading it 10 to 2. Today's game sponsored by the GW Boosters.
And we're back at George Washington High School, 10 to 2. The Patriots lead it during a frigid season opener. Had the sun starting to set. The temperature dropped rather quickly. Up here, Caden Flower. He's down 0-1 after the foul ball. Flower 0 for 1 with a strikeout swing. And it's downstairs as Anderson misses. Flower faced Eli Smith back in the second. As the 1-1 one -one swung on to miss. And if you're just joining us, George Washington had a four spot in the first, scored six in the second. Held scoreless in the third as Anderson will rock and fire one, two. It's downstairs, two and two. And Capital with signs of life there on the top of the third. Put up a couple of runs. Base hits from Kai Haley and Evan Wilson. And strike three, three there. Brandon Anderson popping the bit and sitting them down. Yeah, really good fastball right there. And you can kind of kind of see the timing, you know, first game of the you know, second game of the year. Uh, timing on some of those fastball counts are a little behind. Um, and GW has exposed that today. It's Kai Haley, first swing, deposited out of play over into the bushes. How about Anderson's start to the year? Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Mm. Tough way to start it. That's entering Golden Sombrero territory. And Brandon Anderson, 0-1. Upstairs here, Haley. One for two, backwards K and a single. That's the left fielder. It's the offering, Brandon. The one and one. Crosses at the kneecap, goes up 1-2. Haley up, Grant Barkley on deck. That's a tough strike too, Cole. And the one-two to lift. It's high and tight. Haley. The second ball there. Got capital connections over on the GW staff. Coach Massey, the assistant coach, used to be the head coach back in the day. Here's the two-two. He's rope low in the air to left field, and the catch made. That was right. Left fielder there. Hunter Giacomo. We'll squeeze it for out number two. There's one of those right there. I think you got to tell yourself as a hitter, it's about the process. You know, did everything right, good contact, you just hit it right at somebody, and sometimes that happens. But those, that's the approach right there you want every time. And to Anderson. With the pitch, it's a chopped ground ball to Chuck Kelly. He'll take the bag and the sides retired. One, two, three, down go the Cougars in the top of the fourth. It's 10-2 George Washington. Today's game is sponsored by the GW Boosters.
And we are back on the hill. George Washington leading Capital 10-2 in the season opener. Today's game sponsored by the GW Boosters. It's Capitals going to go to the bullpen. Braden Robinson, number 23 in the right-hander. And up for George Washington, the catcher, the cleanup man, Corbin Dixon. First pitch to Dixon, hacked at, and pulled out of play. Aggressive swing, jumping on the first pitch fastball. Yeah, you almost kind of know that that's the pitch coming, so you're going to kind of sit on it and go after it. Uh, just got out a little bit out in front of it. Here's the 0-1. Long out and missed nothing to see. Elijah Crowley out of the game. One, three innings. Gave up 10 and 12 hits. Did have a strikeout as the o 2 bounced in. One and two goes the count. And things to build on from, from Crowley. He had some pretty good moments, good action at times with the, the little spinner, the slider. Yeah, definitely some positives to take away from him. Um, you know, defense kind of let him down at a couple of different spots as well. Um, you know, but that's one of those you kind of go back, kind of watch the film on it a little bit, uh, just kind of get back to work, and, you know, hopefully on the next outing just continue to build upon what you did right today and maybe exclude some of the errors next time out. Line drive into left field. It's a hit for the third one of the day for Corbin Dixon. Perfect timing, great swing. Staying inside the baseball. Dixon will go back to some high fives, pinch run for Dante Ward is back to first base, pinch run. Good timing there, able to wait on it. Yeah, Dixon's had a very, very good game, called a great game behind the plate. Um, they've been instrumental by, you know, in the batter's box and I've uh, been a big, big part of the uh, lineup today. Here's the center fielder, Eli Dawson, reached on a couple of ground balls. Here's the 0-1. That's down. As Dante Ward going to go to second. It's a close one. He's out. Evan Wilson taking it off the backstop. Got a great hop. Rifled it down to second. Yeah, it almost bounced up there perfectly for him. Caught it and just with an absolute laser to second base. Absolutely fantastic play. That'll give the Cougars young team something to build on here in the fourth. 1-1 is downstairs. Just a reminder, check out Full Court Press featuring Bob Huggins, the last one of the year. Talk some March Madness as the tournament heats up. It's the 2-1 pitch. One's low. Conversation heating up here in the Mountain State, too. They're going to have to make a hire on a new head coach. Now, CJ, I know you got some, some opinions about that. We're, we're both big WVU guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, I'm glad I'm not Rin Baker. You know, have to take over when he did and, you know, hire a new women's basketball coach. Now he's hiring a guy's basketball coach. You know, had to decide what to do with the football program. Obviously, he's got to have a baseball coach search coming up, as this is Randy Mazie's last year. So, yeah, he's definitely earning his money, and I'm kind of glad it doesn't have to be me. There's a lot of pressure on this next one, too. It's, it's a tough situation. It's the 3-1 pitch, high and tight, drawing a walk there. It's Eli Dawson on for the third time. It's Alex Wilson steps back to the plate. Been been very impressed with GW's at bats. Very patient. You know, they're they're not getting outside of the zone. Um, you know, it's very very impressive to see from a, from a high school team. Um, and you can tell that this group's been together um, and what the philosophy is. And that's credit to, to Coach Davis. He, he said that this is the hardest working group he's been around. And that's a, a big credit to the culture. As 1-0 here to Wilson, swung on and missed. Dawson to second. As it takes time to build that, especially when you got a good football program, a good basketball program. The excitement's not always around the baseball. As 1-1 here is delivered. Wilson going to take. That's well short. But when I was here, it was, it was a good program, but, but it 
wasn't always taken as seriously as it should be. We were probably a good all funny team, but it wasn't so much about business as the 2-1 pitch swung out and missed. And to have that built up now, that, that's a change in culture, and they've done a great job. Yeah, it absolutely it is, and you know, like we said, it you know it, it's something that takes time, um, takes getting the right guys in, the right leadership, the right senior, you know, upperclassmen leadership, um, and you definitely can see that has manifested itself over the last couple of years uh, here on the hill. Full count and one away here in the bottom of the fourth. George Washington up by eight as Braden Robinson work here to Wilson. Wilson off dribbler Robinson springing off the mound, throws to first in time. Dawson's over to third. Brandon Robinson able to battle through the at bat. Gets the out. As I say, I think they're going to call this a foul off the inside of his foot. Looking like new life here for Alex Wilson. And out of the dugout comes Stephen Lewis. I have a word here with the home plate umpire. The broadcast booth, I saw it off the end of the bat. Well, it took kind of a funny hop right there at the end, so I think it might have come off his foot. You did see him slip. Maybe you wonder if maybe that was part of it where it caught his foot and it took him off balance a little. Uh, you know, second base up there had a pretty good look at it, and, I mean, he was pretty adamant coming in quickly to, to change the call. So and that's who Lewis is talking to now. He'll depart now. Seems like he's saying the chin should be out. Not a great lip read or something along those lines. But new life here, Wilson. Payoff pitch. This one's down and it walks. That's just tough in a game where you're on the ropes. Take it out off the board. This coach, Mike Davis, going to bring in John Fowler. John Fowler, pinch running here for Wilson. So I'd imagine we'll probably see him in the field as well, given that Wilson's at third base. Yeah, and like you said, if you're capital, that's tough. You know, you feel like you got a, you got an out there. You're, you know, getting an out away from having another zero up on the in the column on an inning and then you know play just doesn't quite go your way uh this is where the mental toughness now part of it comes in that we've talked about with capital you know can they turn the page from last year um got to got to find a way to get out of this thing without giving up in a giving up any runs here and you know back-to-back -back innings of zero runs would be great 14 nothing gw took it a year ago and spend with Two for two in the contest, takes the first pitch outside. Nate Fenwick singled and RBI doubled off the left field wall. First and second one down. Robinson set by the chest, strides and lets it go. That's a hop it in there. Nate Fenwick ready to join that crowded quarterback room at West Virginia. But you never know. People develop at different rates. Mac Jones was never the lead guy at Alabama. You never know, walk on, scholarship. You might get thrown out there. Yeah, I mean, you never know what happens. And in, unfortunately, the day and age in which we live in now with the transfer portal where guys can, you know, seemingly move whenever and have, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12 year eligibility strains. Um, yeah, anything's possible. And, you know, sometimes it's just about living the dream too. That's true. That's at the venue there on a game day. Couldn't turn down the chance to be a Mountaineer. Nobody growing up in the state would want to. That is kind of the dream. And Fenwick, kind of a prototypical quarterback build. He's got a cannon. You can see that out here on the football field, from, or on the baseball field, I should say, from right. Up now, number 15 for the Patriots, Joel Nelson. Just kind of throws it effortlessly. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's just to watch him kind of, you know, take the outfield practice and throwing, um, you know, absolute just ease in which with he throws. And he moves very gracefully. You know, you can see the athlete in him, the baseball player. And, 
Yeah, I think that's the one thing uh, with baseball, especially, you know, Major League now with some of the rule changes, you're getting to see how good of athletes these, you know, baseball players are. 2 0s hit through the left side. It's a hit to left field. Dawson will score. And in comes John Fallon. High throw to the plate. That'll give Fenwick another 90. Scooting into second base. After the base hit there, Joel Nelson. Credit him with a couple of ribbies as well. And so GW up 10. So three outs away from a, a mercy rule now. Next up for number nine here, here's Hunter up Giacomo. Hunter Giacomo. And I like what GW is doing. They got Fenwick down in the order at seven. You got Giacomo in the nine hole. It's really spread out as far as the athletes in the bats. Yeah, they've really kind of spread it out. You know, we said it earlier, there's not really an easy at bat in this lineup. They're going to give um, opposing, opposing pitchers fits with that. Uh, with the speed that you have at the top and the bottom of the lineup and then guys in the middle that can absolutely just crush the baseball. Uh, that's, a, that's a very tough lineup for a pitcher to go through a couple of times. A ball and no strikes. Shopping ground ball there left of Mike Davis. Couldn't quite make the play. So Giacomo up here. Chuck Kelly on deck. The 1-1 one, one down. Today's game sponsored by the GW Boosters. And here's the 1-1. One one. Another ball well low. Definitely trying to work down in the zone. Um, you know, any pitches that have been up, we've really seen, you know, the hitters attack those. Um, and drive those trying to work down in the zone, but now might be forced to have to come back up in the zone. Two balls and a strike. So this one slashed foul, and again, Coach Davis can't make the play. Go on, Coach. You're a college baseball player. Yeah, you know, it's opening day for all of us. <laughs> Second and third, one away, 2-2 two, two to Giacomo. And will hit him, Giacomo. Walking to first. Bases loaded now for the Patriots. They're going to pinch hit. Coach Davis going to get some at-bats for some guys. Number eight, it's Hunter Stewart up. Heard him call out Barnett. And as well, Wyatt Barnett will see him. Yeah, you know, it's just been a been a tough night for Capital tonight. Um, yeah, as good as GW has been offensively, um, and they've really pushed the pace on the base pass, on the base pass. Some mistakes throwing the baseball around have really given them extra, you know, 90 feet. Um, and that's really kind of come back to, to hurt capital. Those are little things that you'd like to see them tighten up as the season goes on. Because um, this isn't a bad baseball team. It's just right now some of the mental mistakes have just absolutely killed them today. You've seen some good things. Kai Haley squared it up a couple times. That's fouled back into the net there. Hunter Stewart down 0-1. Yeah, but like you said, sometimes with culture, you come off a season like you had last year, a couple things go wrong in a game even at the beginning of a year, and you think, oh, here we go again. The eyes start rolling. You start yeah. to kind of be narcissistic about it as the 0-1 pitches. Got a hit, Stewart. And another one comes in. Here comes Fenwick. Yeah, you know, as much as they say is winning is contagious, you know, sometimes losing can be too, and that mindset's sometimes very hard to get over the mental aspect of it as baseball is a game like very few that will challenge you mentally like it does. Um, and sometimes you just gotta kind of got to push through that and understand each each inning in and of itself is a different opportunity. It's 90% half mental. <laughs> Steven Lewis going to come on out. Looks like Capital is making a pitching change. They're second of the contest. So number three there, Grant Barkley. He's going to take the ball. It's Capital... Looks for a couple outs here in the bottom of the fourth. 
We'll see Barkley on the bump shortly on the HD Media Game Day app. Today's broadcast sponsored by the GW Boosters. Back at GW High School, everybody crowd around the fire. It's a cold opener. As packed in there like sardines, understandably so. Yeah, absolutely. As the sun's gone down, it's definitely gotten a little, little cooler out here. We've got three, four layers on right now back here in the booth as Barkley will wing and ding, ball one down. That's where you kind of got to start thinking about arms. You don't want to stretch any of your pitchers when it's cold out. As the 1-0 is a chopped ground ball towards the first baseman, Bailey. He'll turn and pitch back as the hitter there, number 10, Barnett, is retired. Good job there by Bailey. A nice pickup on the part of Jace Bryant covering the back. Yep, definitely came in and do what you need to do, and that's get a, get a quick out. And that'll bring up number 14. Number GW, Eli Burgundy. Smith. It's Eli Smith, today's starting pitcher. Smith, couple of ground outs. He reached on an error, first swing sw slashed out of play. And he walked his last time to the plate. Got Corbin Dixon in the on-deck circle. He's three for three today. Correction, actually, Smith, a couple of singles, a couple of RBIs. Yeah, had a, he's had a pretty good day. I think he'll look back at, you know, what he did on the mound. You know, solid, but, you know, definitely some room for improvement. He'll want to want to pitch a little bit better than he did today, but, you know, did enough to, to get his team where he wants them. And the 2 1 pitch. Smith flies it high in the air. And out of play over top of the stands. Got some Cougars with some blankets behind us. Whatever it takes. Number 14 here, Eli Smith. Even 2 2 count. Grant Barkley trying to get the Cougars to the fifth. Here's the pitch. And it's foul tipped backward. Local baseball ongoing. South Charleston took it on the chin. 16 nothing against St. Albans on Saturday. St. Albans, one of those perennial baseball programs. You know they're going to be around. 2-2 Two -two blocked up there. As the count will go full. Yeah, they were... At Appalachian Power Park last year, they'll be in the conversation. Pay off the little. Swung out and missed Barkley. Got him with the heater. 
14 to 2, George Washington up. They can finish it up in the top of the fifth. Today's broadcast brought to you by the George Washington sponsors. Back at George Washington High School, 14 to 2. The Patriots lead it as we broadcast on HD Media Game Day. Today's game sponsored by the GW Boosters. Quick throw down there by Dixon. And the Patriots can finish off the mercy rule here in the top of the fifth. Up here in West Virginia, I'd like to be in the Cactus League or out there uh, in, in Florida, whatever. But uh, not here. What's what's going on in the spring training scene? Anything interesting? As we we'll, we got Evan Wilson stepping up and play. Um, you had some, something I don't think I've really ever seen. Uh, Cardinals Rockies eight eight final tie. All one low. I guess they didn't want to burn any more pitching. I guess so. Probably one of those split squad type of games. Um, you know your Reds were in action. Ten six loss to the Angels. I'll tip backward there for Wilson. As count goes 1-1. One, one. Uh, but there are some games in progress. you got Marlins, Mariners tied at three, top seven. Spring training kind of gets you in the mood before the season starts. As the 1-1, one one, Anderson. Yeah, it does. There. It does, and of course you've got, you know, the uh, MLB World Tour uh, in Seoul, uh, South Korea uh, starts tomorrow. Uh, if you want to be up at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to, to watch. 2-1 pitch by him. It's Brandon Anderson brings the count 2-2. We got Wilson, Tristan, Campanella, and Jace Bryan do up next. And here's the 2-2. Curveball fouled off. Pitch there by Anderson. Wilson able to hang alive. Yeah, it's a great job there by Wilson to at least get a piece of that and stay alive. Was extremely fooled on that nasty curveball. Two balls, two strikes. He swung out and missed. And Wilson. And when you follow it up with that kind of fastball, you have no shot except to be late. Anderson, great command. Picks up the Cougars. Center fielder Tristan Campanella. Got a couple sports going on. I think lacrosse just started behind us. That's Campanella. Digs in. And down a one. Campanella down swinging and looking today. Yeah, it just has not looked comfortable in the box at all today. Anderson, no balls a strike. Go in front, nothing at two. W. Aaron to take on Ripley tomorrow. And Anderson. Under these, their ball one. Talked to Shane Casto earlier, their head coach. Says he's got a really young team, good freshman class. And has a good senior and Cade Goodbeck as the one-two's low. 
So that'll be a fun matchup. Yeah, it could be like you said, where you know Ripley's kind of a young team, um, but looking forward to see what they've got. And the two and two bowed off the end of the bet. That'll be a big test for the GW pitching staff too. Ripley's always a good offensive team. Watch that on the HD Media Game Day app once again. 2-2 two -two pitch, got him. That's the curveball pulling the string. Anderson, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Yeah, I really set that up <clears throat> by just pretty much exclusively fastball. <clears throat> like we said, Campanella, you, you, you could kind of see it in his body language. He's frustrated completely not, not comfortable in the box. Up now, Jace Bryan taking strike one. Capital with two hits today to George Washington's 14. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And it's a ball there. Chase Bryan, but hit by two pitches today, both on the back part of the body as the 1 1's up. G Dubs had trouble with 5 6. Bryan and Bailey have all walked every time up. As 2-2 pitch brings Capital out of the final strike. Nobody on, two away. Two balls, two strikes. Brandon Anderson delivers. Hard check swing. And he did come around. And that'll do it. George Washington 1-0, 14-2 victory in five innings over the Capital Cougars. And they'll shake him up here in CJ. The home team, impressive wire-to-wire, -wire, really never a doubt today. No, there really wasn't, um, you know, uh, and you got to kind of like that if you're, uh, you know, GW um, coming out. You've got expectations for this season, um, you know, to come out um, and do it the way you want to do it, right? Be aggressive on the on the base pass, um, patient at the plate. Um, pitching was excellent when it needed to be. Um, you know, I, I think if you're GW, you're extremely excited and happy about the way this one went. And if you're on the coaching staff, it also goes, you know, hey, we might have won 14-2, but we've got these areas we've got to get better at, right? So you kind of get a mixture of both if you're a coach, which is exactly what you like to see early in the year. And Corbin Dixon with a good performance, a few hits, a double, and drove in a run. About the whole top of the order have success. And some hitting for power. Good job. We're waiting to see if we got a post-game interview coming with one of the players or coaches. Quite sure if they'll go ahead and dart out of here. I think Coach is just going to go ahead and call it a night, and we will as well. Big thank you to the GW Boosters for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. And, CJ, thanks for hopping in here. Absolutely. It was fun. Good job of the production crew as well, Dan and Ethan, as we'll go ahead and sign off. 14-2, George Washington's